Hello and welcome. In this video I will show you how to mirror or extend your Chromebook to a Windows computer or laptop. With the screen mirroring app you can transfer your entire Chromebook screen to a computer and thus display websites, apps, games, photos, videos and much more. Let's get started. Download and open the screen mirroring app on your Chromebook. You can find the link to the Play Store in the video description. Now the website, TV app, must be called up on a Windows computer. Open the Chrome browser as this is the best for screen mirroring and enter the displayed link in the search field. The website now shows a six-digit number and a QR code, which is required in the app on the Chromebook. Back on the Chromebook click on Start Mirroring. Now you can either enter the number or scan the code using the built-in camera. For the second variant, the app must first be granted the required permissions. After successful connection, the Chrome browser is called up. Here you can now select the source, resolution and codec. Full HD 1080p is set for resolution and H264 for codec. If your Wi-Fi connection is not the best, you can lower the resolution. This causes less data to be sent and can contribute to faster transmission. After clicking on connect, a window opens in which you can set what is to be transferred. Here select entire screen, click on your screen, tick the box share system audio, and press share. Your Chromebook screen will now be mirrored on your Windows computer. Activate the unmute audio box on the PC and set the picture to full screen. If you want to extend your screen, you can get a USB-C, HDMI, or DisplayPort dummy adapter, depending on the port your Chromebook has. These are available from Amazon for $5 to $10, for example. After the adapter is connected, a second screen appears in the display settings. Make sure extended display is selected in the display settings. Connect to the PC using one of the codes and select the second, extended screen. Now the Windows desktop can be used as a second screen and programs can be moved to it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. We have many more tech tutorials and interesting stuff. Okay goodbye, for now.